Good evening, Interweb. We're back with Discourse, rejoining Rita on this island where we crash landed with multiple freaks and weirdos. It's a very uh, heavy dialogue game. Wait, we already did this. Oh, I guess this is just. Okay. So this is reminding us what happened last time? Okay, that's, that's weird, but alright. Uh, yeah, we got three bottles of water with our friends over there. Uh, George and... Gamer guy. I don't know his name. Uh, and we picked up leeches. And, uh... Okay, this is the last time I asked Garrett to come help me, and he got a leech on and freaked out and ran into a tree. Apparently, it didn't save after I eggs when I. So I could change my mind at this point. It seems an exploitable bug, but I'm gonna go ahead and stick with my original decision. Tell Garrett to be useful. Come over here. I don't want to get the leeches off you. Yeah, no problem. One of them got on me. Leeches! Ah! And he runs like an idiot into a, a brick wall. And yes, that did look like it hurt, but he deserved it for. Um, I understand you freak out if leech gets on you. I, I, I don't know if I would freak out, but I could understand it. But just the idiocy of running straight into a solid stone wall. And then we have George. Uh, if you didn't watch the last episode, George is a, uh, and his wife, like professional tourists, they go around and they've been everywhere, they've been on safari, so he s says he knows what he's doing. But anyway, hi George. Is he out cold? I'll take a look. I'm not doing a voice for Rita. Uh, oh yeah, I gotta go take a look. Because it is, uh, it's a very wordy, very text-driven game. I don't want to just read the game to you, but I will try to summarize what they've been saying, and I'm going to try to try to distinguish the voices so at least you know who's speaking if you're not paying attention. And if you're not paying attention, that's fine. Uh, all right. So yeah, we've got some flowers here that remind us of a sculpture we did, and I think this is a piece of the plane. Yep, more plane debris all the way out here. It's crazy how far it spread. Yeah. Doesn't this piece look strange? What do you mean? It's, uh... This is duct tape. What? I'm starting to wonder what kind of shape our plane... Well, if it's held together with duct tape... Yeah, if we get out of here, you want answers from the airline. Well... Yeah. I mean, I would think when you're getting on the plane, you would have noticed that there was duct tape all over it. So, while I kind of understand you wanting to blame the airline, I'd have to say this is really your fault. I can push George. Move George. It's like he's on a rubber band. Alright, so really there's nothing else to do here except for check Garrett. So let's look at Garrett. Uh, let's see. Yikes, are you okay? How many fingers do you see? Oh, great. Are you dead? Are you dead? Um, yeah. Are you dead, Garrett? Because if you're dead, we're just leaving you here. I'm a ghost! I'll take that as a no. What was that? It's difficult to hear over the hum of the spectral realm. I really, uh, I don't know what I would do if I was really stuck with people like this on an island. Uh, they come off as somewhat idiotic, but I mean, you can in a game like this, you kind of have to, because the active player has to be the driving force behind everything. So the rest of the players have to be either idiots or just passive. They don't want to do anything. I mean, if they solved all the problems, there'd be nothing for the player to do. So I understand it from a game point of view, but I'm still going to about it. 
He's talking even stranger than normal. He must have hit his head pretty hard. Yeah, this might be bad. Does so anyone have medical training? That's me asking, not her. We've got water. We should get back to the camp. Come on, Garrett. Oh, God. Don't... What did... What's wrong? He... Oh, that means I can talk to him. Yes? Uh, look out, it's a sand wizard. You're growing a horn. Just making sure, okay. Oh. Uh, I think this will get him to run, but in which direction? Yeah. We'll tell him it's, we'll tell him it's a sand wizard. He is growing a horn, though. Uh, yeah. You're growing a horn. Looks like you're growing a horn, Garrett. Oh, gosh, you're right. I wonder if I'm becoming a dragon warrior, or maybe a unicorn. I think I'll stop messing with the poor boy. He clearly doesn't know what's what right now. Yeah, and whose fault is that? You're the one who said the water was safe. You said, just go in the water, and there were leeches. You said you knew what you're talking about. Okay? Okay, George? You understand? Yeah, I'm ready to leave. Uh, hang on a minute. We already got the water, and we already got the water. We just have to get back to camp and get Garrett back too. All right, so I can't talk to Garrett anymore. I've already looked at this other stuff. Let's look at this. I saw a documentary about this peyote stuff before. Oh, peyote! I have no idea what peyote is. I really, I don't. I mean, I, I know what it is, but is it some sort of cactus? I don't think now is about this is a perfect time to experiment. You've got two willing victim uh, patients. Just ready, just give some to Garrett. Alright, so Peyote apparently grow, grows out here. And Rita knows enough to recognize it. Uh wish I could take time to appreciate the island. It's difficult when we have to worry about things like getting water. It is an odd island. Okay, so I guess there's nothing else for us to do. Are you ready to leave? Yeah. Yeah, I'm ready. Come on. Everybody, let's go. Come on, Gert. Get moving. Is it our legs that move us, or the earth around us? What? Yeah. Hopefully we'll be able to get back to camp without him passing out. I don't think I could carry him. Well, I could, but I don't want to. George, you're, that's just a dick thing to say. Let's go. Let's all get back to camp. I don't remember what the other guys were doing. There were other camp members. One of them stayed behind. Uh, Bird! Great, Garrett collapsed. What's wrong, Garrett? Sorry, the wound the warlock gave me is slowing me down. What are you babbling about now, boy? Oh no! You two can't see him? It must be an illusionary shroud. You know, I, I, I play Dungeons and Dragons in my day, and just people like this just... Uh, uh, anyway. Please don't take him as a, an example of the people who play those games. This is a horrible stereotype, as is probably most of these characters in this game. Disclaimer is over now. Moving on. Garrett, get a move on. Let's rest. You're hallucinating. I don't want to rest. It's getting dark already. And we know there's wild boar. Um, if we tell him that you are hallucinating. Garrett, you're hallucinating. There's no danger. You bumped your head. Just let's go. So the warlock would have me believe. So he doesn't... What? But if you've been enchanted too, that means... Oh, quiet. I'm so sick of your fantastical jargon. Get up and get moving, or I'll drag you back to camp by your feet. The Berserker Rage has taken hold of his mind. I have no choice but to comply until I find some way to cure your affliction. What have we gotten ourselves into? 
the whole cutscene seemed pointless. I guess maybe I chose to stay and wait. Something different would happen. And that's the whole thing. It's a choose-your-own-adventure thing. You, you do something, and it seems like it didn't do anything. Then maybe if you chose something else, something would have happened. But, rest of the guys, we got the water. We did. Yeah, Garrett. You hit your head. We're back at camp. Shut up. I remember beasts that feed off the lifeblood of their... They're leeches. No, you had one on you. You were not covered by swarms of them, Garrett. Uh, and Jolene managed to interpret that. I don't like Jolene. She's a bit of a know-it-all. A couple of leeches, huh? Well, um... It doesn't matter. Garrett did his part. Everybody should take a drink. I only got three, so three of you go without water. I guess we go back every day and get more leeches. So we're passing the water around. I see you didn't... Oh, wait. It's George. I see you didn't bring anything back, Steve. Actually, I think we found something, but I need some help getting to it. A lot of that wreckage was too heavy for me to lift. Well, maybe tomorrow we can look at it. I don't know. We need a voice for Teddy. I think Teddy sounded like the voice I did for Steve. I need a new voice for Steve. I've changed Teddy to Steve's voice. I'm telling you guys, we need to try to make contact with the outside world. Maybe, Teddy. There's a lot of stuff we have to do if we want to stay alive. Like alchemy. We should all learn alchemy. <laughs> He's really out of it. Yeah, and I agree. Hopefully this goes away soon. And maybe a good night's rest will help him. I'll grab a torch. We should find a way over to the tent. Why don't we just put the tent closer to the fire? Then we wouldn't have to have a torch every night. Alright, so, we're going to pick one. Alright, we get a torch. And if this is like the previous night, I can talk to three out of the five people before going to bed on the pallet. Uh, so I'm going to talk to the guys who did not come with us. Starting with Teddy. I've already forgotten his voice. I'm telling you, we must come up with a way to signal the passing boats and things. Maybe we can get around to that tomorrow. The longer we wait, the more opportunities we may miss. You're right. That makes sense. Even though you were terrified of crabs and couldn't figure out how to beat them, we'll take care of it tomorrow. I'm glad you're seeing it my way. Let's get some rest. All right, Steve. I, anyone have a suggestion on what Steve sounds like? I don't know. Uh, he's smoking a cigarette. He's an office worker. Well, it sure would be good if we could get stuff out from under that wreckage. Sure would be good. Doesn't sound southern. I can't do... I don't know. Alright. We'll work that out later. Maybe George can do it. Maybe. I'm gonna go sleep it off. And then last over here. Jolene. We well, still got a lot of work to do. Yeah. Yeah. Work's not gonna end until we're rescued. George always says that work is the best thing for you. I think we may be the only thing we disagree on. Maybe there's more than just one. From what I understand, no marriage is without a little disagreement. I guess I shouldn't act as the authority on that. You'll see one day that marriage can be a complicated thing. Yeah, whatever. I don't really want to talk to you about marriage. You're a strong woman, Rita. You ought to have everyone swooning over you. Maybe. Good night. I, I don't want to talk to Rita. She annoys me. Alright, torch is burned out. All I can do is go to bed. Might as well try to get some shut-eye. Good night. So, next day. This is day three. Oh, look, says it. Day three. 
One more night down. I'm gonna need to stretch my legs and move around. All right, we should. It sure would be nice to take a walk. I'm starting to get pretty hungry. Well, you're going to go days without food. Just stay strong. Can we focus here? We have to figure out what we're doing today. Yes, sir. We were able to collect some water. That will help a lot. And I was able to kill that ghost. <laughs> ghost, you know. Garrett's still talking funny. I guess we're going to have to deal with it. He's got a concussion. He's gonna die. There's nothing funny about the truth, man. The real truth. Garrett's head injury is annoying. I feel like it's injuring my head. Steve, what's your plan? Jolene and I will like an extra helper to check out the plane wreckage. There might be useful supplies in there. We need to find a way. Is that Garrett? No, Teddy. Fuck. God, this is hard. Too many people. Teddy wants to find a way to signal the outside world. Uh, well, George would be better to go with Jolene and get you guys. So I'm going to go with Teddy. Build a signal. I'm going to go with Teddy. And George and I can go with Steve. George and Jolene. Uh, well, take him... Okay, let's rethink this. Why don't you and Jillian come with me to the wreckage? Then George and Teddy can stay here. Okay, no. No, I'm going with Teddy. I'll be fine, fine, fine all the time, time, time. I like words, words, words. Uh, I, I don't understand why he can't come with one of the groups. That's what I really don't get. How is anyone ever going to find us out here? Good job. I don't know, Teddy. We could try yelling. I know it won't work, Teddy. I was being sarcastic. We need to find a way. Teddy wants to find a way to contact the outside world. We could write something in the sand. No, that, that's no good. That'll just wash away. Driftwood. Teddy wants to use driftwood to craft some sort of signal. Teddy, why are you wearing three watches? I still want to know. Alright, so I have to go find driftwood. Hey, driftwood. Teddy thinks he found a landmine. And so I just bring the driftwood over. wonder if it'll affect our rating. They're probably rating us on everything we do. What are you talking about? Yeah, I have no idea what you're talking about. He wants to, what did you do before the incident? I was a barista. Now, I know your cover story. What did you really do? Alright, Teddy's a conspiracy theorist. Whatever, Teddy. I can't deal with Teddy. Uh, I swear, it's just a group of freaks. Alright, we've got an S. And a backpack. I found a weird envelope with Jolene's name on it that fell out of a backpack. Teddy thinks it's top secret evidence. Oh, uh, I don't want to open it right now, but I'm afraid if I don't choose to open it, it won't give me a chance to open it later. It really is. It's not our business. I mean, it might be photographs or something. And we certainly don't need people mistrusting us. I have no reason to mistrust Jolene. I don't like her, but... I have no reason to so yeah, it's none of our business. No, she's not a spy. We're stuck on this island with everyone. We may as well try to get along with them. See? That's what I said. 
Teddy doesn't like it, but screw you, Teddy. Go back to making your sign. Fish pee in the ocean. Watch out. Good job, Teddy. Hey there, little guy. What did I find? God, Teddy, mind your own fucking business. It's a disc that fall up on it. All alone and scared. It's a face of someone who's been through some... I'm confused. We're going to keep the disc. That way we can take care of each other. We can call him disc... Oh, it's like the volleyball Wilson thing. I don't see a name on him. We've got to come up with something. Teddy wants to call him Disky. So it's like we, we've got a mascot now. I hope they don't stick with Disky. I don't like that. All right, so I'm going to drag some more driftwood over. There you go. We're halfway done. So what did we find? We found, I, I think it's a Frisbee. Don't talk to him. No, Rita. No, we don't care. I don't care what he did. He used to work for the government in the, their intelligence bill. Confidential information was right under my nose every day. So, you think they're after you? Of course they're after me. It's because I didn't get a job with him because I wanted to work with him. Why did you? The sand has ears, Rita. Let's just say it was a good place to get information that I needed. Yeah, Teddy's freaking me out. Teddy is really freaking me out. If I had my phone on me, I'd grab an Instagram picture of this beach. It's a lot of squareness on this beach. But what do you expect from people who can't build their, bend their elbows? All right. So we finished our sign. It says sock. How many people were on the plane? I think it was just us. Really? I'm going to say it was just us. It was a crap plane. Just help you other duct tape. Couldn't have been that big. I swear, this looks like a helicopter? No, it's a seat. Okay. And it's a tree. I thought the tree was a tail assembly of a helicopter. What cheap ass airline? They don't even have flotation devices under the seat. The seats become flotation devices. Don't you know how that works? Disaster air. Wait, would you really fly with an airline called Disaster Air? I want to go out here. I bet there's a ton of lost cargo from the plane out there. Two of them mostly all waterlogged and ruined. I don't care, bring it in. Just push it. Just. No? I can't push. Push people, but not stuff. Alright. Not really seeing anything else out here. Oh wait, there was an eyeball. That means I could look at something there. In the movies, trees like these would be full of coconuts or bananas. Turns out real life is much less forgiving. Who'd have thought? Yeah, don't be thinking life is like the movies. It's not. All right, so we got our SOS made. It's not a big deal, Teddy. They're going to be looking for us for a couple of days. So, oh, wait, Teddy spotted the light. Doesn't look like it's moving. It's an oil platform or something. It's really far away. Too far away to tell anything from here. Maybe it's an alien ship. No, Teddy. No. Just no. All of a sudden, now it's raining? That's coincidence? You think? I wouldn't be so sure. I just want to slap the crap out of Teddy. We're being tested. We have to reconvene with the other subjects. Government has obviously set up a weather machine. No doubt that was government lightning. 
Just normal lightning, Teddy. It's just normal. Gotta get back to camp before we get soaked. We made your stupid sign, so you'll shut the hell up. Eh, it took too long and Garrett's wandered off. I, I know, Steve. We, sh we should have left someone to him, but... You know, how about we split into groups of two instead of you taking three people? How about that? Dumbass. You insisted on taking three people. I guess we're gonna have to go find him. No need, amigo. Garrett, where have you been? What happened to your arm? I was questioned by that magic pond we found, and I happened to cross a wonderful creature. Looked like a snake, but I know it was really a kindred spirit of the desert. So this looks like a snake bite, but I know it's really an ancient glyph of power inscribed by the spirit. God, Gary got bit by a snake. No, I do absolutely a snake bite. Yeah, that's Steve. I agree. Uh, we should have left someone. What's well, done is done. We have successfully created a save our souls signal on the beach. Is that what it is? I thought. Were you able to spell it correctly? Are you saying I'm unable to spell SOS? We don't need to fight about it. We don't. What have you got to say then, Rita? We found this little guy. He was alone, so we brought him with us. Oh my gosh, let's name him Disky. Oh, Jesus. He likes it. Alright, so we named him Disky. We're going crazy. Steve doesn't have any friends. Yeah, right. My bad. I forgot to make him up. That's enough. No reason to argue about this. Disky will be good to us. You guys find anything of value out here? Oh, you want your envelope. Oh yeah, we did see a light. We did see a light in the distance. Too far to swim. But maybe we could build something out there. So we have a new goal, probably build a raft. Still need food. One more thing, Jolene. Found this envelope on your beach. Oh, no, 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 no. Why do you want to get rid of it? I see. I want to know what the hell is in that envelope. Yeah. Damn it. Should have listened to Teddy. Now, see, see, that's the thing. If I say, oh, we found this game on. Oh, well, let's get rid of it and throw it in the fire. No, no, I would not let you just throw it in the fire. I'm going to grab that and say, no. If you want to, why do you want this destroyed? If it's a personal artifact, you wouldn't want it destroyed. You say, hey, oh, thank you. Those are pictures from our vacation. Those are pictures of our grandchildren's photo album. It's important documents, travel papers, money. I don't know. All sorts of things you could have with you. But if you wanted it destroyed, why wouldn't you destroy it before you got to the island? You know, I'm going to get on a plane with something I want destroyed. I'm just going to carry it with me. No. No. That is not something. I, and I can't trust George because George is with Jolene. So I don't trust either of them. I can't trust Teddy because he's a conspiracy nut. I can't trust Garrett because he's freaking insane. So I leave Steve. Steve is the only one right now that I trust. So, yeah. What would you guys find in the plane wreckage? We had the wildest ride. We were walking around the plane having a talk about what we should be looking for. Jolene did most of the talking. When it started to rain... Seems like the rain is covering a large area. A huge bolt of lightning came out of the sky and struck the plane. We were lucky to not get struck, but we didn't get anything useful from the plane. 
In the end, does it even matter? Yes, Jolene, it matters. We have no food. Of course it freaking matters. Maybe we should try to continue this over by the tents where we can keep dry. Alright, I'll grab a torch. So, once more, next night. Making progress, making progress. Who to talk to? Rain is getting worse. Alright, so. It's really cold. The shelter is keeping us dry right now. It's a lot colder out in the rain. It's a crap shelter, Jolene. We can make it through the night and find something better after the storm tomorrow. So, we've got two goals tomorrow. Try to build something to get to the oil platform or try to find better shelter. I think the shelter is more important because we don't even know that's an oil platform. We don't know what it is. It could be an unmanned platform and whatever we build may not be seaworthy. Let's see, Teddy's in favor of, yeah. Okay. Where well, would we even go? Inland, we could, okay. Go. Uh, uh, yeah. So Teddy wants to go inland. I didn't think he meant now, George. Yeah, I wouldn't go now. We could also get hypothermia and die. Wait until the morning, and we can look for better shelter. Rita, you're being pretty quiet. Don't tell me you're on their side. Let's put it to a vote. I'm not going to decide for the group. Put it to a vote. What does everyone else think about this? I think Georgie is right. I don't, we don't know what's out there. Why risk it? I don't think it's a bad idea to leave. You guys are ridiculous. It don't matter what we do. We'll all be dead soon anyway. Okay, so it's uh, one abstain, three in favor of staying, and one in favor of leaving. So we're going to stay. We should stay here. We're going to tough it out for the night. I oh, know. Shut up, Teddy. Shut up, Teddy. Shut up, Teddy. My side of the tent's all sucked. No, wait, that's Garrett. Fuck. Anyway, Teddy's bitching is soggy. Somebody, I'll s quit whining. And just, it's just as damp in my spot, and you don't hear me complain about it. None of our spots are exactly prime real estate, Teddy. Just suck it up and take what you've got. Why don't you switch with me then, George? George, just switch with him. If it's no different, George, just switch with him. It'll make everyone be quiet and go to sleep, then fine. Yes, yeah, small victory, but I'll take it. Good night, everybody. I didn't get to talk to a group this time. Alright. So. Oh, something happening in the night. Oh no. Guys. Guys. Everyone, wake the fuck up! What are you going on about? Oh my goodness, floodwaters! I guess I should have known something like this would happen. Looks like a storm surge coming in. We best get ourselves out of here. Oh, George is dead. Tree fell on George. Oh, George! <sighs> George, are you okay? I, I, I think I'm alright, but I can't move. It's too dark. I can't see what's going on. Rita, get us a new torch from the fire so we can shed some light on the situation. I'm on it. I am on it. See, we should have built the camp over here. This is still dry. 
There's stuff out in the water. Oh, the food. Well. Hurry up! The storm is coming in fast! Alright, I'm coming. We're gonna lose it. Yeah, I'm not gonna... We have to save George over the food. And Disky. Don't forget Disky. Get that light up in here, Rita! I see now. Oh dear, looks like your lug is stuck in behind this branch here. We're left on my mark. Hey! Hey! There you go, Georgie! You're free! Alright, let's go. Yeah, let's get out of here. I saw some rocks more inland. Maybe we can find shelter underneath them. Up ahead, under those rocks. Oh, we found a cave. Yep. Yeah. This cave is awesome. What if there's treasure buried in here or something? I, I really doubt there's treasure. But it is protection from the storm. Bigger than my apartment back home. I haven't seen a storm like this in some time. Let's get some sleep. If we're lucky, the cave won't flood. That's reassuring. And so we sleep on the cold round. Moving into day four. That's a magic torch lasted all night. I'm exhausted. That sleep was not the greatest night of sleep I've had. Looks like some rainwater collected in the puddles here. That's convenient. What's wrong with Garrett? Well, he's had a concussion for two days, and no one has treated him. But, that's going to have to wait for next time. So, we're going to stop here for the night. Discourse. A lot of talking. A lot of verbal. But it's a pretty fun game, if you like the choose-your-own-adventure style story. Uh, which, I do. I think it's fun. Um, and you can replay it. And uh, hopefully, uh, we'll get to the end pretty soon and see what happens. And if not, well, it's just it's still a fun game. A lot of talking, though. Sorry about that if it's not your thing. But uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you think of it. Well, good night, good luck, and pleasant dreams.